Okay, we're going to start today. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Hello, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Welcome to everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here with all of you. Well, there are some students joining right now the class in, um, you know, all those ready, ready to practice and maximize your skills. That's good. And, um, you know, I was, I was uh, reading an article related to the importance about learning a language. And I was reading that it's really necessary, like, to, to dedicate some time, like, a strategic time to read, uh, to be in contact with, the, with, with uh, something that we need to learn. Uh, if you want to improve about something specifically, um, you can focus about what about that, about listening to music, reading a book, you know, learning vocabulary, expressions. So there are ways in which we can also, you know, maximize your skills. So I was uh, always uh, focused about, that, about how important is this. So it's for me a uh, great pleasure to be here with all of you guys, always uh, getting ready to learn. The personal commitment, all the best we have here in this process. And everybody learns here. So you learn as I learn too. It's a personal, uh, you know, compromised. It's a personal commitment that we need uh, to do to learn. And also, uh, other point is to enjoy it. Enjoy what we are learning. That is the, one of the best strategies. Because when you enjoy what you are learning, it's easier to absorb all the information that most of the time was studying in the class. So that's why it's, it's really important. Well, so there are students joining right now the class. And let's see, we are 13. Somebody's joining. Okay, 14 students. Let's see, we go be John. Well, first of all, I would like to take a short time to thanks everyone for completing the first week of exercises. I just ha had a chance to check most of your record in, in on the platforms and I can see that all of you were good. Most of you got the hundred percent in the exercises. So that's mean that you did you did it perfectly. And it, it also the second week, uh, some of you didn't complete it at all, you know, but I need you to do it because it's important um, to have this record. So that's why um, congratulations because you have been working in the plat on the platform and that's the, what we need to do. We need to work on the platforms and also maximize our skills by practicing. Everything we study here in the class, we just practice right there. That's, uh, that's good. That's why you, you don't have to um, you, take with a doubt without asking, teacher, I don't understand this part, or can you explain me that? So it's important to ask questions in the case you don't understand something. Okay, so let's do it. Let's start. Yesterday, we had a great uh, talk. We have uh, different topics to share. But I want to ask you what we studied yesterday. What do you remember? I need a volunteer or volunteers to tell me what you remember we did in the last class. Who would like to, you know, open up the microphone and talk? Oh, nobody remembers what we did yesterday? A volunteer to tell me, teacher, we did this, this, this in the class. That's a feedback. Yeah, someone or nobody? Uh... Yesterday, teacher, I remember that my my team was where were working. No, where my team where was <laughs> where because it's blue out. Well, so we were where wait okay. okay. But in the case uh, of my team, team where okay, my 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 classmate or in my team. Uh, we're talking about the some words. I don't remember what is the words, but uh, they 
they were talking about what is uh, the defined for each word and the definition. They, the definition and they were talking about the definition each word and established a uh, discuss and yes no yes it is no not it is and it is not and i just remember for the the yesterday okay thank you so much kevin i really appreciate it thank you hi teacher hi uh, uh, I, i'm going to give my opinion uh, i remember almost almost the same uh, kevin uh, i remember yesterday i discussed uh, discussed with my uh, classmate uh, many questions about our job uh, for example uh, uh, how is a normal day in our position uh, what is the project uh, uh, in my team right now, uh, currently, please, sorry. Uh, other question was uh, examples uh, of project uh, are available uh, in our, our job. Uh, other question we discussed, uh, uh, what, what are the challenges? Challenge? Uh, schedules? Schedules. Schedules. No, challenge, challenges, challenges. Oh, challenges, okay, challenges. Okay. Uh, challenges uh, for employees. Uh, what else, what else? Uh, uh, <laughs> question like that. Also, we, the, we in, investigate uh, the mean for third time vocabulary. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate it. That's all, uh, teacher. Oh, Kevin and Osman, thank you. I don't know what else. I remember, I remember too the other question about, uh, for example, the uh, what is a normal day in the position, uh, and day and uh, what project is your team working uh, on now? Uh, are any example uh, of past project? available for review, etc. I don't remember the, the, the last question. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, right? All right, that's okay. So we had a great talk yesterday. I, I, could, I could say that we had the opportunity to socialize our personal perspective and also opinions about some things. We talk about a normal day in your in a chief in your job. Also, you know the the projects, the projects the team are currently working. Also, the challenges that you know that your job positions have for people in the company, the resources that most of the time are available in the company. With what resources people, uh, you know, take in the company. Well, also they were talking about specific skills that a person should have especially in a job position. And if there are many mentors to, that can help others, especially for new new employees that they need a trainer, or they need a training. So they also have a kind of mentor that can help them to, you know, to, uh, to respond some questions or try to, you know, support some important points about that. We also had a chance to talk about some specific vocabulary as, as Kevin mentioned before. We talk about the uh, least, we talk about scheduling, uh, follow up, invoiced. Also, we will describe about issuance, allocation, logistic assignment. We talk about enrollment, database, inquiry, and shipments. Most of the time, we use this vocabulary uh, related to different areas about a job and also when we talk about companies and everything. So it was a great talk because we had the chance to respond with our ideas. We socialize, we listen, we understand, we formulate the statements and we talk with our classmates with the goal to understand and be understood to end the process. So that's why it's a very successful the way we're doing. But we'll continue with the next part about the program. And with the only one difference is that we're gonna try to reinforce the topic, a comma is placed. 
And I will explain you for there um, this topic because it's a grammar topic that can help you, especially when talking, when we need to separate some ideas or uh, some phrases in the process. Let's continue. We have the following um, activity. <clears throat> Let's say, so um, Osman, can you help me to read the instruction, please? Okay, teacher. Look at the following video about inside Hamburger University. A student will watch the video and will get the most important information. Thank you so much. So we're gonna take a short time to watch a short video. And it talks about, you know, Harvard University. It's a very, you know, interesting interesting thing. And also the, the most valuable about this one is that the, the speaker mentioned something that uh, can be very interesting in the process. So let me share with you by this meaning, the following link, so you can also watch that. And also you can your personal opinion at the end about this. One second. As you know, that we talk about training, but I love the title about this. One second. I love the title of this uh, video because we talk about Hamburger University. How is that possible? A Hamburger University. I, I don't understand that. But I, I want you to watch the video. McDonald's training courses, you know, it's like we talk about more than a, an important training, we talk about in a personal uh, training for life. So let me share with you right now this one. Let me share with you this one. Okay, I'm showing you the link. Can you see the link in, on the chat? Yes, teacher. Excellent. So I will give you a couple of minutes. So this video takes um three minutes uh three and a half three thirty so i will give you uh four minutes and a half to watch the video and try to get the most important ideas about it okay let's go
Okay, everybody's ready? Yes? Everybody is ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, so, well, that was a very interesting video, especially thinking about hamburger universities. Like, I mean, people, they, they deliver hamburgers. They deliver hamburgers and everything. But it goes beyond, beyond a service. Um, because it goes beyond um, just like preparing some hamburgers and giving to the customers and that's it. And they go beyond because people, ha people have some of their needs. And this is important to highlight, especially in a job, that it's not just do what you had to do. It goes beyond. You had to be very proficient and also, um, you know, very outstanding about what you do, doing getting the best service because you, you deal specifically with customers. Okay, what do you like about the video? Uh, tell me with your own words, what do you like about the video or what uh, called your attention about the video? In my opinion, teacher, uh, the video present a good idea for the universities of El Salvador uh, because when we are studying in the university, well, I, I studied uh, industrial engineer and the university just uh, speak how can you will be a manager and what what is the practice? What is the practice in, in our universities? Uh, we don't have practice or the uh, the video present a good idea, but I know for the university this is a little difficult um have this this course or this training. Um, when when the students uh, putting put in practice uh, the theory 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 uh, theory um, theory that theory theory excuse me uh, theory 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 yes when when the student apply the theory um is the better uh, option to learn uh, when you um when you have the first work or the first job and you don't know how you need to do because you didn't uh, uh, practice and and the video present a good idea for me for for the university for the Salvador. okay thank you so much kevin i really appreciate it we can also summarize your words like that the, the, the theory and the practice go together. So you cannot just like teach just the theory and then you see what's going on in the, in the practice. So the combination of both make a perfect job. And I totally agree, agree with you, especially when we're talking about service or uh, any specific job. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Someone else that would like to give a personal perspective or opinion or something that attracts your attention about the video, you had a freedom to talk. The teacher, um, for me, some interesting in this video was uh, the the video shows shows uh, how is the job about a manager uh, in 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 the restaurant. Yes, uh, in the in the in the video, uh, you you can see all stress for many people uh, working in the cooking in the cooking. Uh, measure the time, uh, or 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 thing very fast. Yes, uh, maybe I think uh, this this video shows what is the required for uh for this position for a, a manager of rest of a restaurant of of a hamburger restaurant. Yes, also I think uh, maybe uh. McDonald's, like like a big brand, invest in a university to prepare a potential professionals. Yes, 
uh, is more easy and professional invest in this uh, university. It's easier, easier. It is easier, yes, yes, easier. Only that. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes, uh, I, I just, I like what you said that, you know, it's important to, you know, to invest. I mean, the company goes beyond, you know, just training. It's, they invest in, in the education, we could say it. Also, um, focusing on the customer's needs. That's a very important word. Uh, focus on the customer needs. What the customer needs. They are in a hurry. They had to do some stuff. They had to work on something. And something that I like about what you said is that you saw in the video many people moving in different positions because they had a specific task to advance in the work. Someone else? Sure. Are you sure? Yes. I, I, I don't know, but I think uh, this university is like, uh, for example, in support, many companies uh, invest in this entity, uh, in this company. Entity. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and support has different uh, career, yes, uh, uh, different training uh, for a specific uh, area uh, for a company. Uh, it's like uh, outsourcing. Yeah, that's right. So I, I really like in support too because you can know that there are different courses to, for many people, especially if they would like to specialize in something. They are different careers, different opportunities for everyone to apply and also get better opportunities for life. Uh, definitely that it's a good way to. Thank you. Okay, someone else? Uh, someone else would like to, you know, give an opinion about a topic, about the video? Me, teacher. In addition okay. of other comments, uh, in this university, teaches to check the orders are such as uh, the client requested, check the behavior of other managers in a different situation to, found, uh, to find a pot potential managers. Okay. That's that. Yeah, fo focusing on uh, potential managers, right? Okay, uh, yeah, I, I love that word. I, I like that word too. Yes, the focusing in the managers with uh, great skills. Yes, I really love that. This is another another idea that also we can get from Nelson. Okay, someone else? Yes, you share, can I? Of course. McDonald, in my opinion, in in addition that the other opinion is a is a model frank frank franchise model. It's a it's a business model around the world, and they need to that their their manager or their employee go to in the same weight. All all the restaurant that they the McDonald have around the world is it the it's important that they have a hamburger university because uh, the fast food needs uh, a lot of um, requirement. And they say that when the the, the capacity, the, the, the training a, a, a people, the, the service uh, better and the communication and relationship is much better. The, the people are motivated and, and the, is is a model that they have because it's it's in one minute thirty second you have to ready the order, and this is the the important that McDonald potential the the managers and 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 they and because imagine sixty million people a day, and around the world I I think that they they have to attend or they 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 have to. To prepare the the food, it's important that they they have a hamburger university, of course. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yes, Marna. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I was like thinking about the preparation of this, you know, kind of, you know, universities in the case of university hamburger university. I was thinking about that, and definitely that they don't they don't give a service without getting a preparation. 
that's uh, important to do a great job. You feel ver a, a satisfaction when you have the skills to do it. And we don't have to forget that one. You cannot be in a job if you don't know anything specifically. That's why when you are more prepared, you feel more confident and you get more experience and also you do a better job. So that's why the preparation is really important. That's why this uh, huge uh, franchise, they spend a lot of money on that. Because at the end, that will be successful for them. And also something that I liked about the video is that many people, they were working and they knew what to do. They knew the responsibilities. They knew what to do. And the managers, they focus on the customer needs. They were in a short meeting in the video and they were like uh, uh, thinking about uh, the, the customer's uh, opinion. Like I'm working, I'm, I'm, I'm in a hurry up. So I need to do some stuff. So I need, I don't have enough time to do that. So people know that they, they don't have plenty of time for going and getting some food at the restaurant. So that's why the managers try to organize everything, attend customers in the best way they can. Also, you know, try to work the, with the employees, everything working in a very nice environment. And that's what we call successful. That's why they get ready and they prepare for that. So that's why it's important. Also, a preparation. We can see that in the video and uh, that we can learn something about that. Okay, so let's continue with the next activity. And before that we um, start with the next part, I will take a short time to check the attendance list. So if you allow me just a moment, I'm gonna check the attendance list and I will call your names. One moment, please. And also, I just want to tell you that don't forget that, as we said at the beginning of this course, that you had to have the microphone and also active in the case to participate as you are doing, and also have the camera on. You had to turn on the camera because Insofor it is uh, monitoring that we are actively here in the class. Also, the attendance list is focused on the minutes that you stay in the class. Um, some students say, okay, I have I was there for an hour, or I was there for 35 minutes, and that's enough. Uh, I, I'm in class. In that case, the attendance list is the uh, 120 minutes in general, talking about two hours. So if you stay the two hours, you will see in the attendance list the two hours. If you had only 40 minutes, you will see, well, you will see in the system 40 minutes. So that's why if you stay the two hours, uh, you will see the 120 minutes in the class. So that's why it's important and recommendable that we stay in all the class. One second. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Uh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, teacher. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here. Thanks. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Josman. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Juan Carlos Present. Herrera. Pre Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Kevin Alfredo. Present. Uh, Nelson Alberto Praza. Present. Um, uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Rafael. It's not Rafael. Um, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. 
Ricardo? It's not here. And Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Wendy Marisela Ramirez. Present. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay, so the first one, we're missing two students and we're talking about, oh, also, and uh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you, Manuel, appreciate it. Well, let's continue. I will share with you right now the following exercise. And we have a uh, listening. Okay, in that case, uh, we're going to listen the following uh, conversation. And you will focus in on five important points. We have the first one is like, according to the speaker, the person is speaking with his. Look, we have uh, a mom, sister, and his friend. Uh, listening to the speech, how uh, you can describe the men's current situation. So you will listen uh, carefully, and also you will have to choose the best answer for this one. Number three, according to the speech, which sentence best describe the men's dining practices? Number four, in the talk, the speaker's apartment is, and you can see the three possible choices in that part. And the last, but not the least, what is the woman's suggestions about the men? And also we have the first one, the second one, how to get rid of his car to save money and be careful when using his credit cards. So in this moment, I will send you the audio. So just uh, give me a brief moment and I will share with you as soon as possible. Okay, so as you can uh, look at the chat and also you will see the, the audio of these conversations and listen and then select the best answer for each question.
Are you ready? Yes. Yes, are you ready? Or not ready yet? So uh, tell me, because if you're ready, we can start uh, revising, you know, the exercise. Um, are you ready or not yet? Uh, not yet for me, teacher. Okay, thank you. In my case, not yet. Teacher. Not yet. All right. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of minutes and then we will uh, check the answers. Uh, something that I really... Thanks. Yeah, something that I really like about this kind of listening is that try to listen carefully and imitate the, the expressions, the pronunciation, the vocabulary. Uh, first, we focus about listening. But at the same time, we focus about the way how the people pronounce the words, the accent, it's it's necessary. Also, we can also try. Okay, so let's check the exercises. And we're going to, you know, compare what we have. Well, according to the speaker, the person is speaking with his, we're talking about relatives. So who's the person 
that he's speaking with? Maybe with the sister, teacher. Oh, his sister and his uh, friend. Friend. Mm. Any other opinion? His sister. <clears throat> okay, we have two. Well, in that case, me, uh, friend. well, in that case, he is speaking with his sister. By the way, it, um, you know, mom and friend were were mentioned in the conversation, but in that case, he's speaking directly with his sisters, according to this. Number two, listening, uh, listening to this speech, uh, how can you describe the man's current situation? Now, he started explaining some important aspects, uh, like he's not like doing well in some specific area, so that's why, you know, he mentioned something. What do you get from that? What is the best? answer in the case i think he's in debt and he's trying to borrow more money i agree with jose in my opinion is the first sentence teacher he has a lot of expense in, in expenses including students loan but i'm not sure really okay anyone's uh someone else that would like to give uh, his or her opinion about this second? In my opinion, he's in debt and he's trying to borrow money. Okay, well, in that case, the answer is that he's in debt and trying to borrow, you know, money. He likes he's getting a bad situation, especially because he talked about his credit cards to pay off a lot of things. And uh, recently, that's why he says that... Um, he can uh, seems to pay the money off, so that's why he's getting some, you know, difficulties to to pay. So that's why he's in debts, and he needs and uh, needs some money. Number three, according to the speech, um, which sentence best described the men's uh, tiny practices? This is an. Oh, yeah. This is another challenge that this, he is experiencing. So the number three, what do you get from that? He tries to go out of food. He doesn't day. know. He doesn't know how to cook very well. Yes, I agree. Like he a sister. Okay, so yeah, in, in that case, well, he um, we talk about that he doesn't know how to cook very well. And that is another thing, so he's, he doesn't cook by himself. So he, you know, perhaps uh, by eat outside. So because he says that I go out, I go out to eat at least four times a week. So he eats like four different times. So this is when you eat outside, definitely that, that is more expensive. So when you cook, you save some money, but if you eat outside, definitely that you have to pay more money for that. This is another thing that happens with him. And we check the number four. In the talk, the speaker apartment is, what happened with the, his apartment? A smaller place with small a nice view of the city. Mm -hmm. A small place. I agree too. I agree too. <laughs> okay. So, yes. And also, you know that in many places, the rent is very high nowadays. Houses, apartments, uh, renting, it's so expensive this time. That's why he mentioned that he paid uh, a lot of money on rent. And also, it's a small because it doesn't include some utilities and cable TV. So that's why he's a small. But the most remarkable about this place is that he has a nice view of the city. At least something interesting about the apartment. And the last one is, uh, what is the woman's suggestion about a man? Stop spending money on uh, training. Uh, how to get rid of his car to save money. Yeah, 
ought to get rid of his car to save money. Yes, I agree, with Nelson and Jose Arnold. Okay, oh, so, so so it's really bad for him, right? Because he's a, a kind of bank bankrupt. But you know what she recommends, like you know what, I think you should sell your car. But imagine living in a big city without a car will be a little bit challenging. And but also people have better public transportation, definitely that could be very valuable depending where they are. But in that case, the, the recommendation is like, you know, create a budget for for the himself. So it's important to have a budget. And uh, so you can also spend some money for different things. I have a question. To, well, I actually, I'm pretty sure you do. Uh, do you have a budget, a monthly budget or a weekly budget? Yes, I do. I have a monthly budget. A monthly budget, okay? So you work specifically uh, monthly. Okay, uh, someone else has a budget? Is this budget monthly, weekly, or every two weeks? How it is? Maybe monthly in my case. Yes, I have a budget, but mon monthly. Monthly, all right. It's because sometimes happen that there are some people who work in a, depending where they work, they uh they get paid every fifteen days, for example. So they move the budget uh, half of the month, but there are some others who get uh some money uh, monthly. So that's why they have a budget uh, depending if that is monthly or every two weeks or even though weeks every week, you have a budget. So it's important. Because you have a balance about how much money you will spend, what money will be used for some things, uh, emergencies, extraordinary circumstances, and also uh, for entertainment and some other things. So that's why budget is really important. Sure. Yes. Uh, how do you say quincenal in English? Like 15, like 15. What? 15. Oh. Like two, yeah. Also, literal. <laughs> yeah, so actually you can think about, you know, how much money you can also spend every 15 days. And also there are some people that they get money daily. So um, this is like no bad. I mean, it's actually good depending how much money you will spend. And also how much money they also work in that. Uh, people also talk about bi-weekly. That, um, that is good because bi-weekly you can say, okay, I have this money and I will be using this money by this and this and this. So that's what we call uh, bi-weekly. And that is no bad. Is correct this work? Uh, which one? Bi-weekly? Yes, of course. Yes. Uh, okay. You can also say, yeah, um, by weekly, okay, uh, thank by you. yes, that's the word. Also, people can people can say um, uh, for nightly too, so every fifteen days. And also, that's important. When we have a budget, we also can control our incomes and outcomes. How much money you spend? How much money you have to save? And how much money you had to, you know, you know, pay or some things. Okay, let's continue with the next activity. We move right here. Okay, look at this. Okay, now we will listen to the following podcast with the following question. Does the face-to-face -face training have a role in the future of LAD, L and D? The students will listen to the speaker um, and have to get the main ideas of the topic. So this is a very interesting um, podcast related to Mind Tools of Business. Mind Tools Business. Um, also, when we talk about face-to-face uh, -face training, have a very important role in the future. 
as we were as we were saying uh, like weeks ago, the importance about trainings, how trainings can help people, how trainings can help companies also. We can talk about that. Okay, so we'll listen to the following um, you know, podcast. And then I want you to take notes about the most important ideas. Because we will go to the breakup rooms, we'll make some groups, and in your group, you will say, okay, uh, my turn. Well, what I understood about the podcast is that people have to do this and this and this. Okay, Emerson, what do you understand? Okay, what I understand about the video is that we can give a personal opinion about what can we learn and also respond to the equations face-to-face -face training have a role in the future of L&D. So just give me a moment. Meanwhile, I take notes about this link and I will share with you right now in this group. Let me see, it's taking some time. One moment, please. Hello, it's Justin here with a short note on the show before we get started properly. Uh, we had some technical difficulties this week. Okay, um, I will share with you the also the link. What what I understand is that, and I think it's in British. Oh, do you like British English? Yes, it's good, British. It's confused with some words like uh, English language. That is good. I, I really like uh, British. Uh, obviously, I you know I speak American English. But British is good because of the accent and also the remark on expressions. Okay, I'll give you this time, take notes, and also then we will work in the breakup rooms and we will socialize this podcast because it's very interesting. Let's go then.
Oh, guys, I'm sorry for interacting. Uh, we will listen to uh, this audio until the minute 17 uh, because it's like a very vast, we're talking about half an hour and won't take like too much time for that. But in that until minute 17, they talk a little bit about, you know, some uh, personal projection. So that's why I need you to listen until this minute. And if you have some doubts, you can also listen back. In order to understand the most important points and um, try to check because what I need you to do is like to take a short time to express what you understood about the conversation and some valuable points that they highlighted in this part.
Okay, students, we're, we're going to uh, make a post because I need you to, like, in a briefly way, try to socialize the, the first part about this, you know, this audio because it's very interesting. There are a lot of details and the real audio takes, like, around 32 minutes, so it's too much. We're going to be uh, splitting in two parts, uh, but this time we're going to listen this part. In the next class, we will uh, focus about the other part half and half. So in a briefly way, I want you to um, go in the breakup rooms and you will um, interpret um, what you understood about these conversations and also what the speakers, uh, you know, focused. What were the main ideas about this talk and also something else that you would like to talk about that. So for the reason, we're gonna work in the breakup rooms and um, in a briefly wait, we have uh, five minutes to socialize that because we have a, another topic to share too for this class. So I'm gonna click on it and you accept the invitation to be part of the breaker rooms. And in a natural way, you talk and share with your classmates what you have understood. Okay, so let's go, get ready. Qué calor. El ventilador, por favor. Estoy ahogando. In... Okay. Ah, uh, it's Justin here with the short. Eh. Uh, what is this? Different ways, different ways that do training face to face. 
Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what else you understood? Wow. Wow. Yeah, and 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 this and this um so and the and the and the podcasts uh, when the when the men when the men uh, when, when the men talk talk it is the is the real uh, talking and the face to face or or the different many many forms to talk uh, in the future is uh, he he says is the the rules to talk and 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 the I I I think so is 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 talk is the is how many how many forms to to talk and 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 and, and use the the, the different te technology, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yes, use a technology, right? Uh, different different ways to training face to face. In a future, maybe it's, uh, we have a different uh, different way to 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 do uh, training face to face, right? The technology the the technology. Uh, the technology is is a is a, a a good a good way to to do the the training. Yeah. yeah. So now, um, mm -hmm. And I think so. Is um, sometimes I I I work is is the training. It's always it's always I I training people and face to face and the and the and the and the classrooms. Mm -hmm. But in last years mm -hmm. and and one organization uh, contract me mm -hmm. uh, contract me is about is talking about the training is cl climate ch climate change change climate and. Um, and the form and the form uh, to do the 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 training is uh, it is it, um and the, it is um my god it is a uh, a uh, uh, Okay. Hi, James. Hi. So, gents, last week the podcast was all about 70 2010, and this week I'd like to talk to you about the.
Okay, students, we will continue uh, with the class. We will try the following topic uh, that is uh, very interesting. And um, uh, something that I just want to conclude about the talk is that, you know, there are always, um, you know, opportunities to grow. So there are no uh, ways, obstacles. There, there are always obstacles, but we can also overcome under different circumstances to reach the uh, goals that we are reaching. Well, we have the next topic. Uh, this is the topic, as we say, the comma explicit, and how to fix how to fix the comma explicit. And um, for this, I want you to uh, focus in this um, general information. Okay, look at this. A comma explicit occurs when a writer has connected two main clauses with a comma alone. Uh, do you remember what what was uh, a main closed? Do you remember about what was the main closed? The main closed are sentences. We have independent close and also we have dependent closed. But the main close are two important ideas. In that case, connected to like two principal ideas. That's why the comma is the place to cures. And I need a volunteer um, that can help me to read this. Who wants to do it? Who wants to read this part that I'm sharing right now? Uh, who wants to be the volunteer to read this part? I can try to do. Would you like to? Yes, I can. Well, so, okay, so you tell me to read I, comma spliced, okay? Okay, so uh, read the comma spliced. Go ahead. Comma spliced is correct when the writer has a connected to the main clauses with the comma alone. The problem looks like this. Main classes, comma, main classes. Example, incorrect. Training is a very important. Employees and managers don't want to training. Incorrect. Training presents a prime opportunity to expand the, the knowledge base of the employees. Many employees in the current clim climate found development opportunities expensive. Okay, you can check that one. So the splice, the comma splice, as you said before, the writer has connected two main ideas or two important ideas. And also you can separate them by the comma alone. As you can see, uh, remember that in the previous exercises, we use comma and this one comma and then the phrases. This one comma, uh, this one comma, so we separate them by commas. In that case, we the comma splice connect two main clauses, but with only one comma. Like you can see the incorrect form. Training is very important. It's a comma, but you have to wait. Employees and managers don't want to do a training. So you can see those examples. Now we go with the fixing. Fixing a comma spliced is simple because we saw the examples here in uh, the two incorrect sentences. Oh, fixing a comma splice is simple. You can use one of the following strategies. We have the first one that I'm just going to share with you right now. A, period plus capital letter. Look at this. In a period plus capital letter. Okay, the error can be broken into two separate sentences. The incorrect will be training is very important and automatically comma. Employees and managers don't want to do a training, but you, I mean, automatically you separate the sentence. That's why it's incorrect. Look at the, the way, uh, correct. Training is a very important period. So we finished the idea. And the second idea is employees and managers they don't want to do training because we have two different ideas. 
So what we can do to, in, to get better is to separate them by the period. Training is very important, period, one sentence, and then employees and managers don't want to do training. This is a, also another sentence. From the two ideas, we made two sentences or two main clauses. This is the first strategy, a period plus capital letter, because we finish in important and the next word is starts with a capital letter that is E. And look at the next strategy to improve the comma spliced. Comma plus plus coordinated conjunction. Another good option is to connect the two main clauses with a comma plus a coordinator conjunction. Do you remember the coordinated conjunctions for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so? We call coordinated conjunctions. We um, saw that before. Look at the incorrect sentence. Training is a very important. Come on. Employees and managers don't want to do training. Okay, we understand that. But we have to connect the ideas with a coordinator conjunction. How can we fix this sentence? Training is a very important comma, but we change the context. But employees and managers don't want to do training. So the sentence have the same idea, but the mistake is that we use a big sentence we connected with a comma and the other sentence, but this is not the way, it's not possible. We need to fix it, adding a period to separate the sentences, or you can connect the two ideas with a comma and one of the coordinated conjunctions like and, and this one, nor, but, or, yet, so. That is the, the, the main point about the, the comma uh, spliced. Why it's important to separate uh, the sentences and not using a long comma? Because when you start reading, there are no pauses. For example, training is very important. Employees and managers don't want to do training. But, but wait. Em uh, training is very important. Period. Employees and managers don't want to do training. So the ideas are separated and clear. And also, you don't need that as interruption directly. Also, like 20% a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge based on the employees comma. Many employees in the current climate find developing opportunities extensive. And you start reading and there are no pauses, no period. So you need to make pauses. Like you read, post, breathe, post. So that's why it's important to use commas to separate the main ideas. The challenge that I have for you is this one. I want you to, according to this rule, I want you to check the following exercise. It says, read the following article and identify and correct four comma spliced mistakes. Um, let's see, what time is it? Well, we still have half some minutes. What time is it? I need to check the attendance list too. It says training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge based on all employees, comma, but many employers in the current climate find development opportunities expensive, expensive, comma, employees attending training sections also miss out on work time, which may delay the completion of projects. So I was reading this part and like the comma is not in a good position. That's why it's important to fix it. Uh, training will give the employee greatest understanding under responsibilities with, within their role, their role, and in turn, it will build their confidence. Training also creates a supported workplace, comma, employees may gain access to training they wouldn't have otherwise known about or thought out themselves. 
So you need to check the best way to separate them by a period or using a coordinated conjunction by bad, comma, and, comma, nor, etc. And also we have actually the last one. Training also makes a company more attractive to potential new recruits. And these are people who seek to improve their skills and the opportunities associated with those new skills. So I want you to check the sentences and also you can uh, correct them using the two ways. The first one using a capital, a period, plus a capital letter, or use always comma, but using uh, one of the coordinated conjunctions like for, and, nor, but, or yet, and so. That's what we had to do. Um, before that we like start working, I need to check the attendance list because of the time. I need to check the second part. One second. Okay, let's see, uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. It's uh, Carl Carlos Alberto Dominguez here. And let's see, uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thanks. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Thank you. Uh, Joshman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thanks. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Uh, present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Sufrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present. Uh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present, teacher. Thank you, Manuel. Appreciate it.
Okay, look at the first sentence. Um, we have uh, less than one minute to check. And tomorrow we'll continue with the rest. It says the training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge based on the employees, comma, but many employers in the current time may find development opportunities expensive. And then we have comma, employees attending training sections also miss out on work a time which may delay the completion of projects. What do you think could be the something that we can change about this idea? What do you think would be the possibility? My opinion, teacher, I think that at the end of the fence, we have period and, and plus capital letter, I think, because it's two sentences. I think, I'm not sure. Like this? Yes. Okay, that's good. I was actually thinking about it because we say, but many employers in the current climate find uh, development opportunities expensive. Period. Employees attending training sections also miss out on, on work time, which may delay the completion of projects. So this is a different idea. Okay, for me, mm -hmm. actually, that is a good way because in the first part, it's correct because we use a comma and we use a coordinated conjunction that is bad. And then we finish the sentence. And the other one is we have the period and the next word start with a capital letter. And the sentence is correct. Great job, Mirna. So for tomorrow, we will continue with the rest of the sentences. Um, we will be checking uh, possible answers for each one. So we have an idea how to fix this uh, comma spliced. So thank you guys. I don't want to take uh, too much time because uh, we're about to finish. So thanks so much for staying here in the class and practice. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Good night, night teacher. You too. Bye. Have a good night. night. Take care, guys. Bye, everybody. You too.